Our next bit of news is out of Fife, Scotland. Scottish Child Abuse Inquiry says that boys were raped by priests at quote-unquote satanic parties. The Independent Scottish Child Abuse Inquiry is looking in detail at historic abuse of children in residential care. Dave Sharp described a catalog of sexual, physical, and emotional violence at St. Ninian's in Falkland Fife between 1991 and 1975. Mr. Sharp from Glasgow said that the abuse had left him with lifelong trauma. He stayed in several institutions before going to the Catholic-run care home in Fife. He told how he was groomed by one of the religious brothers who would tell him he loved him, which no one had ever done before. The inquiry heard the then 12-year-old was later raped. Two or three boys were trafficked around Scotland and Ireland at time to be used in a drink-fueled sex party, which, descri which was described as satanic. The inquiry before Lady Smith continues on Tuesday. So uh, I just want to let you guys know I did a little bit more research into what this independent Scottish child abuse inquiry really was. Um, and it turns out there's, there's actually quite a bit of news on this. This isn't just... One uh, one story about priests doing this. Uh, they're looking into abuse all over Scotland that children faced back in days before uh, child abuse was really reported on. But in this house, in this St. Ninian's in Falkland Fife, there was abuse run amok. Uh, boys were talking about how their friends would just go missing and they didn't know where they were. Um, they were raped by priests, but they were also raped by older boys in the home um, as well. And, and abuse just ran rampant. No one was ever there to really check in on them and see how these boys were doing or even notice if a boy went missing. Um, from what I can tell right now, I know that what I didn't want to do is report news on something sensational like satanic parties and priests attending them raping boys. Um, but this inquiry by the Independent Scottish Child Abuse uh, Center, they're actually looking into these cases and they're, they're reporting on this as almost factual because this isn't just a documentation from one person. The 12-year-old who was talking about this happening to him back in uh, 1971, I mean, I think they said he's... I mean, he's, he's pretty old now. What's that, Armin? I have so many questions. Wait, so, um, first of all, what, uh, first important thing, why is this being reported now if it's in the 1970s? Like, what's, uh, what's recent about this news? What's recent about this news is that it's finally coming to light. Um, we had, a couple of years ago, everyone is familiar, I'm sure, with the case in Ireland where over 800 children or maybe it was 500, children's bodies were found at this care home oh. uh, that just went missing and and it was a Catholic care home. Um, and so this is, the, so Scotland is kind of doing something similar. They're looking into abuse during a period of time when abuse wasn't really reported on. How many kids are we talking about during this time? Uh don't. They don't have exact numbers, unfortunately. Mm. The only thing they have right now are people who are still alive to tell the tale. Why are they calling it satanic? This is priests. Why are they calling it satanic? And that's what I wanted to know. And that's why I started doing more research. Because what I'm afraid is going on here is we have religious indoctrinated people mm. um, who, are, who are associating the child molestation that they suffered and the abuse that they suffered to evil and they asso associate satanic rituals to evil. Yeah, um, stop calling it satanic. If it's, right. Yeah, the sat like the satanists don't have this, like the, the satanists should come and su say like, hey, this has nothing to do with us. This was priests. Like, call it Christian. This is Christian parties, not satanic well, that, parties. That's exactly what Mark Caesar is saying in our live chat. Wouldn't that be more like a godly party than a satanic party? If yeah. There was Sa if I was Satan, I would be offended by all this. Like, what the hell? Even when they priest on the church and they do it under Jesus, even then they start blaming me. Like, what the hell? I didn't have anything to do with this. Right. No, but the satanic church should come and get involved. But like, hey, why are we getting blamed for, for the pre abuses of priests and children? What the hell is all this about? Like, seriously. Right, especially... And someone correct me if I'm wrong, but doesn't the satanic tenants, they have like 10 tenants, so isn't one of them like not to molest or yeah, not? Yeah, actually, not wait, where's my satanic Bible? I have one right here. Uh, yeah, pull that out. The, was it satanic? Oh, I should have it. Where is my satanic Bible? God damn it. 
I always have it close by. <laughs> but but the Satanic Bible, unlike the Christian Bible, has has a no rape l rule in it. Right. Yes, and the, the, it makes it very clear, and it's very aggressive about making it clear that you need um, consent for any sexual interaction, right? And uh, I think they there's also have nowhere a in the there's children. Yeah, and that's nowhere to be found in the Christian Bible. So don't blame the Satanists for this. This is like this is like something that the Satanists got right. Where is my Satanic Bible? God damn it. Um, yeah. Anyways, but uh, is this during this? Uh, did this happen during the what was it called? The Satanic Scare or Satan? Satanic Panic. Panic. So satanic Panic hit the United States, I want to say, around the 1980s. 80s. Uh, so all of this happened before then. But satanic panic is still something that exists to this day, okay? Uh, you can look at any courtroom and, and cases going on um, right now, and you can see, and especially small southern country or small southern cities, you can see people are still trying to say this person killed someone because they belong to a satanic group mm. um, to try to manipulate the jury. We reported on that. Me and you reported on that like two weeks ago. Somebody uh, got a, got a convicted over the fact that the prosecutor said he belonged to um, a satanic group and that's why he committed this murder. So satanic panic is still around. If you bring up the fact that Satan or Satanistic rituals or Satanistic gangs are involved in something, people are more likely to convict you. Oh, so, so stupid. I think, it, imagine if we lived in a just world, it, I think judges would be more likely to convict you if you, if you had, a, if you were associated with any Christian groups or any Islamic groups, but it's the exact other way around, right? If the judges were like, oh, you're, you're, you found Jesus, so your sentence is reduced, or you found religion or God or something. Oh, you're an atheist. Maybe, you know, you don't get approved for early release or something. Oh, you're, you're a Satanist. Hey. So what the yeah it's so weird but I don't know if does Scotland has a sat satanic temple or not because they should get involved in this they should like sue for defamation or something like this I don't think <laughs> right but, yeah it's so unfair like even when you know the the church when they do the shittiest thing like look at the title does it oh don't okay I guess the priest is there boys raped by priests but they should be like Christ they should mention Catholic or Christianity or something in the title but no it's satanic it's so unfair right. that the, the the blame doesn't get you know the people that deserve the blame they don't get it like it's so un unbelievable um anyways Shona Shona is saying Shona Mary is saying leave Satan out of this oh yeah Perfect. The top comment agrees with us. Leave Satan out of this. This is the Catholic faith in all its glory. Um, 137 reactions. Um, oh, wow. The second comment is the exact same thing. Somebody posted a page from the Satanic, uh, from the tenants of the Satan, uh, the Church of Satan. Uh, okay. It's saying, see the following tenets, five and nine. It would help if you understand Satanism. It's not the uh, the evil that the church brainwashes you with. Let's see which one, which numbers are talking about. Five and nine. Let's look at them. Five. It says, do not make sexual advances unless you are given the mating signal. <laughs> What's the mating signal? Um, Showing uh, consent. How about? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right, so do not you're not supposed to make any sexual advances unless you. Uh, I mean, you know, the, these satanists are atheists. They're just playing around, right? So, and I know they use instead of consent, they're saying mating signal. That's just basically a, a satanic way of saying consent. So, um, so that's number five. Seven is saying acknowledge the power. Of, what? No, that's not right. It's not number seven. I think nine. Yeah, number nine. Number seven is actually bullshit. That's something I don't like about this tenants of the state <laughs> number nine saying do not harm little children there you go okay i would improve I number nine so. i would not improve in number nine to saying do not harm children instead of little children because what if some or you had an overweight giant <laughs> child, like do not harm little children so j big children are allowed to harm yeah so i don't know why you have to have the word little there that's yeah. unnecessary remove that um okay by the way um we we recognize like somebody's gonna come complain we recognize that the satanic temple is not that are not devil worshippers they're just atheists that are being poetic about their atheism M many people don't know that 
Um, and I'm glad that they're doing that because in the United States, at least, because they disguise as a religion, they're making, and um, because Christians are terrified of, say, um, of anything satanic, every time religion tr tries to make it sway into politics or into schools or anywhere that they're not supposed to be then the satanic temple comes as well and then it scares the shit out of the christians so that ends up christians supporting secularism so the satanic temple is a gift to secular rights in united states it's amazing um yeah so let me see who anyone else anyone else hey uh in the chat we have disidentity it said that the state satanic panic hit europe as well uh my mm. mom was scared of my motorhead orgasmatron t-shirt and threw it away and then the fight began hmm. um and doorknob head is saying mating signal per christians is like what lipstick <laughs> that's pretty funny <laughs> right. That's a good one. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.